Think fast. How many oceans are there on Earth? Take a moment. It's been a while since your SATs. The answer is one. Now, it does have a different name depending on where you are geographically, Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, you get it. But the planet is covered by one massive body of water, totals 71% of Earth's surface. The ocean also represents 96% of all the water on Earth, and that leaves a comparatively small amount of fresh water that we need to survive for a pretty big number of human beings. In roughly the last 100 years, fresh water use has more than quadrupled. Now sure, you're thinking the population grew, the global economy grew, and that is of course true, which means we use more water. The problem is nobody ever said that there is more water. Increased demand was already depleting rivers and lakes and reservoirs at an alarming rate. The climate change and warming global temperatures are only making matters worse. Droughts like the one California endured, the worst in its recorded history, are happening around the world. And while bands of heavy storms have helped matters in the short term, the risk of drought impacting lives and industry is far from over. The picture in poorer nations is, of course, much more challenging. UNICEF reports that as many as 4 billion people, half the world's population, experience at least a month of severe water scarcity every year. 2 billion live in areas where the water supply is inadequate all year round, and water scarcity could drive as many as 700 million people to migrate by 2030. Water, something we've taken for granted for generations, and certainly here in the United States, may well become one of the most precious and precarious of resources. Scarcity is already leading to increases in acute hunger, displacement of millions, and steep rises in regional conflict. UN member states recently announced a historic treaty to protect 30% of ocean areas by 2030. That move could make a big impact on environmental protection and for preservation of biodiversity, and that is important. But scientists say much more action is needed for that 4% of fresh water we need to live. And right now, we're going through it, well, like water.